So in order to fit the radio collar to the lion, we need to immobilize them. And to do that, we dart them with um, this uh, small dart. Um, needle on the front there, you can see. And uh, it's full of uh, an immobilizing drug that will um, knock the animal out for about an hour. And that gives us enough time to fit the radio collar take various uh, body measurements. We take a blood sample in order to uh, screen the population for um, possible diseases and also do any genetic work that we might want to do in the future. Our research uses uh, GPS satellite collars um, to follow the movements of the study animals, study lions in our population. Uh, this is a GPS collar. So it consists of a battery pack at the bottom and an antenna unit at the top that receives the signal from the GPS and um, transmits the uh, signal to the satellite. The recommendation is that um, the weight of the collar shouldn't exceed 3% of an animal's body weight. These are less than 1% of a lion's body weight. So they, they're really very light. They don't bother the lions. They in no way compromise their behavior or, or anything that they do. So for a lion they're very benign, but they're incredibly useful for us because they allow us to follow the, the movements of these animals in this kind of wooded savanna system. And it's very, very difficult to, to follow a lion through the kind of uh, forest that we have in this, in this park. Without these, we just wouldn't know what the lions do. The other aspect of this is that you know we can follow lions when they leave the park, uh, when they go into community lands, um, eat people's livestock. Um, that allows us to actually warn people, and that's a big component of, of the project. We have a lion guardian program. When a, lion, a collared lion leaves the park, we're able to warn communities. They can look after their livestock, put their livestock in their bomas, and we can try and get the lions back in the park. So these are very, very useful for us, and pretty much the the backbone of the project.